everybody, welcome to Hockey Town here in Detroit, Michigan. Along with Ray Ferraro, I'm James Sabolski. The Canucks are in a position that pretty much every kid that plays sports dreams of winning a championship here, Ray. And when you talk to any player, they say the toughest part of a game like this is not to think about the championship, but to stay focused on the game. Great energy both inside and outside the arena tonight as we are just moments away. Here he is, shot right in front. Stopped by the goaltender. Retrieves the puck, trying to kickstart this power play. And now it's grabbed by Lindstrom. The Red Wings looking against the half wall. Detroit's regained possession of the puck. They go on the attack through center. Let's it go from the slot. Big save. Detroit's gained possession along the boards. They're picking up steam through the neutral zone. Vancouver's penalty killers get a hold of it. With possession along the wall. Power play has expired. Made the stop on that play. But he came out and challenged him. Good save. Stays with it. And now he angles it across to Robitaille. Huge play in his own end to come up with the puck. Sends a pass over. Takes it to the net. Scores! Short-handed. A backbreaker of a goal. Man, does that pump your bench up. And you can imagine what the other guy's bench is like. Flat as a pancake. Giving up the shorty. That's a scorer's goal right there. That puck is on and off his stick in a hurry. He's so tight to the net, he has to get rid of it before the goalie can readjust. Couldn't connect on that pass. Lugs the puck into the offensive zone corner. some space in the corner and that's picked off in front the Red Wings move to the offensive zone Detroit's got it behind the net cut it down the power play smart defensive play there on the attack along the boards Whoa. that's in he scores man their bench jumped right up both teams know the longer you stay locked at a time luck starts to play a bigger part of the victory Oh, it's a great pass. Good hands that you elevate the puck over the defender's stick and the shooter catch and release, and it's in the net. Takes the feed. Tried to get too Q with it and loses possession. Delayed penalty looming, and he slides it quickly to Bertuzzi. And the whistle stops the play, and someone's off to the box. The Red Wings have been penalized, holding the call. I got a laugh here. The player says, what are you looking at to the official? And he's like, you holding him. Putting the grab and clutch and grab on that one. And the man advantage unit comes out to go to work. You can set a special team trend if your first power play is a positive one. Get some shots, get some pressure. Moves the puck along the half wall. Oh, the sauce on that pass. And a strong effort on that play. What do you think hurts more? He's got a headache or his jaw's sore? That thing was a bullet. Stoner's playoff production is so impressive. Among the best in the league in goals here in this playoff season. Vancouver's got the puck along the wall. Handles the pass from the right wing. Vancouver's on the attack. Puts it in for the power play goal. I made a living on the power play, and you can tell early in a power play if it's going to be any good or not. If you're scrambling all over, it's not going to go that two minutes. This one worked perfectly. He didn't have much room up over the glove, but as soon as the goalie dropped into the butterfly, there was enough for him to put it into the top bin.
Nice zone entry from the middle. Point to point pass. Provert's got it along the wing. And that shot goes nowhere as the lane was filled. Another stop by the goaltender. He's right on it. Two consecutive saves. Tough ones at that. And that one's broken up. It's go time. That's the end of that spirited boat. There's the whistle stopping play. Penalty coming up here. Bangs going off to the box for two minutes. Or listen to the online simulcast at home or on your smartphone. As both teams get a breather, so will we. We'll take a quick pause for the cause. Well, the first 20 is in the books. Let's see what this second period offers. Detroit's power play is still intact as this period is now underway, wow. and they take possession. Angles it over to Sedin, and he coughs it up with the pass. Answered the call there. Quick glove hand here. He gets the glove out to make the stop. Stoner's been able to fight through the tight checking of the playoffs to be among the league leaders in points in this postseason. Detroit's moving it into the offensive end. The Red Wings have it against the wall. Here they come. And on the heels of that big hit, he's being called out. They're going to go. James, you lay a hit like that on a star, there's going to be somebody that's going to come after you, and that's exactly what's happened here. And down he goes. That's a clear winner right there. Ray, it looks like they're not done with each other down there. And it's a quick pass to Lindsay. The Canucks scoop it up along the boards. Here he is in front. He scores! They get one, and you think that the game's going to flatten out, but it doesn't. They pile two more after that. Man, it looks like a bus depot in front of the net. You know it's a tough one when you can't see the goalie. That means he can't see the puck. Musa quickly over to Coffey. From the point, they take control of it. Here's a short pass to Lindsay. Comes up with the stop as he got a piece of the blocker on it. Lindsay's been out with that injury, but it looks like he hasn't missed much. That's a good shot on goal. Here's the pass. There it is. It's in. I don't, I don't think it's going to matter, James. Uh, I get a look at this immediately. I think no goal. This was waved off hard immediately. Well, the ref jumped in pretty quickly here. I don't think this is going to be a goal. The, the goaltender was hot as soon as the puck went in the net. He's got to be able to play his position, James. I don't think so there. Working the puck deep inside their own end. And tries to make a diagonal pass all alone. And scores on the breakaway. Beautiful. breakaway when he's out in the clear the puck is in a shooting spot the whole time and he delivers it and here comes the pushback and pokes the puck loose you can't do that to the stars yeah even if you think it's a clean hit and i do it doesn't matter somebody's coming after you from the left side they enter the offensive zone good reach to the stick to knock the puck away detroit's got control of it now here in the offensive end Hammers the shot, and the goalie somehow gets a piece of that one. 
flashes the leather right in the slot on a difficult chance. Still anyone's game, especially the way these two teams have been producing offensively as the second period comes to an end. Programs for tonight's game are available on the conference. Easily complete player listings for both teams, player bios, and informative stories. Third period just around the corner. Ray and I will be ready to bring all the action in moments. The Canucks aren't far from the finish line now as they lead it late in this third period. The Red Wings will go to work here in the offensive zone. Risky. A lot of job back and forth here. It's a river. I mean, the guys look like they're pretty agitated. Howe's not interested in dropping the mitts and going at it. Stoner's ready to go. Apparently, the other guy doesn't want anything to do with him. Just because one guy wants to fight, you don't have to. He says, no way. Stoner's been called for holding. Well, next time, he's going to have to find a better way to get in front of the player. He reaches out and grabs him. He'll go to the box. I feel like you could have got away with this back in your day. You could get away with a lot in our day. <laughs> and there's the final horn! What every single one of these players play for, Stanley Cup champions, Ray. When they get a close look at this trophy, you'll see all those names engraved on it. And then one day, their name is going to be on it very soon. Ray, these are the moments that are generally immortalized in hockey history. Some of the most iconic pictures are usually involved with that championship right there, Lord Stanley. Well, I guess there's one way to look at this, James, and really, and right at the bottom line, there's one winner, everyone else is a loser. Doesn't matter if you got here or not, you didn't win. As the champs shake hands, they still seem pretty empathetic in that line. Well, you've been in that leather line more often than you've been in the winning line for sure. You know what it feels like, but to go this far, you understand how empty it must feel. What an impressive run, and I think well-deserved to be named playoff MVP. I've always noticed that the player that gets named Conn Smythe Trophy winner is always a little uneasy because it's such a team win, the Stanley Cup, of course, that the Conn Smythe feels a little awkward in this spot. It's also huge. It's a giant trophy. Well, this is the perks of being one of the leaders here. You get to collect the Stanley Cup first. Yes, but I think the most important thing is these guys will be tied together forever. Their names will be on that trophy. They'll have reunions, and it won't be who held it first. It'll be uh, but that we all okay, have to. Ray. Dibs are okay. Sure, but it's not going to matter in 10 seconds. <laughs> Ray, you're right down there at the ice. Give me a sense of the emotion. Well, everybody's just babbling away there. It's like nobody's really <laughs> making any sense. They're so excited, hug on to each other. They're looking at the trophy. They can't wait for their turn to carry it around the ice. I got goosebumps even up here. And as they gather for the team photo, there are your Stanley Cup champions. This is the emotional picture, the one with the cup for the first time. The polished one will be in a couple of days when everybody's shaved their beards and combed their hair.